Hi, this is Cass from Rosie Cass Plays. Welcome to Season 5, Part 20 of my 100 Vampire Baby Challenge. As you'll see, we've invited poor little Noel over for a bit of a Barney. I decided I'd try and, while she's waiting to get pregnant, it seemed like the perfect time to do this defeat three vampires in combat stage of the aspiration. It's been a little bit annoying though. Like I've been having a lot of trouble. No, I've been having a lot of trouble getting it to actually follow through on the instruction to do the sparring. This is our sparring room in the basement, which we almost never use, uh, which I built to be like a high, the reason the basement has high ceilings is so there's room for them to fly around. Cause if you're in a space with low ceilings, they'll go outside. I learned this the hard way when my sparring vampires were going out into the sun not great all right this should be the third one and given she's beating up on poor Noel who is like baby level vampire of course she should win uh this is why I didn't invite one of the matriarchs over because they're grandmasters there we go done so that should complete this level of the aspiration thanks buddy do you want some training I feel bad now what do we need to do let's offer him some vampiric training it's like four in the morning everybody's awake I have had most of them take moodlet solvers because they were all, I don't know if you remember, they were all very, very sad about, I think, an uncle or something passing away. So most of them have taken moodlet solvers, but obviously things have happened since then. All right, can I get you to come up here? Uh, no, I know what's wrong. That was the wrong button. Uh, super efficient baby care is what I'm looking for. Because while she was sparring with Noel, I had Sebastian in here looking after the babies, but he phoned it in a little bit. He didn't do any of the usual kind of chatting. He just changed nappies and fed them. So I think we're pretty much ready to go for the day. Like, because obviously it's Monday. I've had them working all weekend. I think the twins birthday is Tuesday and they're forecasting storms. So that's lovely. All right, whose project was this again? Liana. Oh, she's gone to do yoga. You don't need yoga, honey. You need to do your project. All right, and I'll get you when she comes up. You can assist. There we go. I will, I think, fast play this. Let's have a look at what she needs to do for her aspiration. Now, this is the last level. So she needs to read the ultimate vampire tome, become a grandmaster vampire, and then survive for an additional 20 days. And when she's done all of that, that's when her time is up as a matriarch and she has to move on and a new one takes over. Now, I obviously am not keen for that to happen because we've got like six kids left in the challenge and I don't really feel like dealing with the new matriarch, if I'm honest. But because one of them is read the ultimate vampire tome, we have a copy. I just won't make her read it and she's not going to read it autonomously. So... We should be fine. So I'm just going to get these little ones all off to school. In theory, oh, why are you sad? Oh, because your mum dared to be in the same room as you. Oh my God. It's because she bit him. He obviously didn't like it. It's an interesting uh, mechanic that the kids get a negative sentiment when they're turned. I feel like you could create some really interesting vampire stories with that kind of thing because like say you had a human parent and a vampire parent and they had kids and some of the kids were vamps and maybe one of them wasn't a vamp and then the vampire parents like let's take care of that or that you know they decide to turn their human partner and then they get resented like I feel like I feel like that could make for an interesting story I mean the actual ugh, the actual sentiment is hurt she literally bit him but you know like maybe you could play it that the human wasn't so sure they wanted to become a vampire like obviously there's options there random tangent aside i'm gonna get all these guys off to school and then probably fast play through because it's just gonna be yolanda and humana in the house and they're not going anywhere all right the kids have come home and are currently standing on top of each other in a horrific multi uh armed legged hybrid let's just go through this i've just wanted to skip past the projects so Tristan is an A student, Ulyana is an A student, Sebastian is an A student, Venus and Winona didn't get their grades up. Hopefully I can get them to age up tomorrow. You've also come home with a project which is perfection, 
so you can do homework and then do this one and then we'll age up these three which is very exciting so we got a zombie cake i forgot we had a zombie cake that's hilarious all right come in here and then you don't even need to do your homework you are free to go boy I was thinking about uh, the horrific logistics. Oh, hang on. Let me just confirm his traits. Uh, he has responsibility in trait range. And that's really all I needed. So there we go. Um, yeah, I was thinking about the logistics of a world where there's 94 vampires running around that my original matriarch Lilith has been directly responsible for. Yeah, not great. Uh, oh, he's a kleptomaniac. Remind me not to invite Sebastian over to visit. Not that we can't afford to replace anything he buys because we're on like 1.8 million. Okay, Tristan, your turn, buddy. Come and blow out your candles. Happy birthday, buddy. Okay, so he is outgoing and an art lover. Well. A random number between 1 and 12 is 4. What am I doing? 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh no. A random number between 1 and 2 is 1. Yikes. An outgoing art lover who wants to be a public enemy. I mean, he's a complicated human. <gasps> you, buddy. Oh, and you're not a vampire. Oh, no, you are. Now, I will... Come on. No. Get down here. I think she's not a vampire. So I think we will need to turn her. So I look forward to her being a little bit emo. Happy birthday, Ilyana. Oh, sweetie, you've had a bad day, haven't you? Okay. Awesome work. You can do it, stinky. Okay. She's good. Well, she'll get on like a house on fire with a twin, the public enemy. A random number between one <gasps> and 12 is four. A random number between one and two is one. You have got to be kidding me. I mean, I can see how Tristan, being an art lover, could end up being a public enemy. Maybe he's, like, got a fixation on only owning all of the art and he wants to steal it. Like, that works. But how can you be good and a public enemy? It's directly contradictory, but, you know, whatever. I don't have to actually randomly generate the aspirations, but I like to. All right, let's have a quick look at these two. It's a bit hard to see much of anything underneath. Oh, she's got the eye wrinkles. Uh, probably the inherent contradiction in her life goals and her personality causing her stress. Anyway, I'm going to give these guys a quick makeover so we can actually see what they look like underneath all of the like face paint and skin details. And then I'll catch up with you guys then. All right, you guys, I've given the kids their makeover. When I say kids, the teens. So Tristan growly face over here. He, I figured art lover, bit of a preppy kind of style, but also I've made his color black because, you know, he wants to sneak around at night and be a generally dastardly fellow. I also gave him this amazing CC hair because, you know, these things together say to me, trendy, uh, a little bit like Zane, maybe in my Criminal Empire challenge, the second child, he at a similar kind of vibe not the same aesthetic exactly but a similar kind of vibe also he aged up with freckles i don't think he had them but i just because i didn't think he had them i've just styled them back a little I'll, I'll just zoom out obviously we saw every day this is his formal wear you know very very dressed up we've got athletic wear i figured the brand worked quite nicely sleep wear you'll never see it because he's a vamp we've got party wear uh that's boring you'll never see that either probably this is his hot weather gear again i'm like this it looks like it's branded to me and that is his cold weather gear he's a handsome enough looking fellow he did have a very flat nose the only change i made was his nose was like even smaller than this in terms of its protrusion from his face i just pulled it out slightly because i was like that's a bit much now Uliana is a very pretty sim and she's aged up with abs. I don't know what's going on there, but that's what's happening. So she's really, really cute. I've made her, because she wants to be like an insider, I figured she wants to be the popular girl. She's good, 
but also wants to be evil. Maybe that's the influence of her twin. Getting, again, Criminal Empire vibes. Reminds me of the Ashley-Alex dynamic a little bit. But here we go. So she's. I think she came out together quite nicely. The only thing I changed on her was her eyebrows because she had the really thick ones that did this and they shouldn't be in the game as far as I'm concerned. Does anyone have eyebrows that just go all the way around your eye? I don't know. It feels cartoonish to me. Uh, maybe maybe people do have eyebrows like that. If you do, I apologize. I, I've never seen it in my life. But yeah, so she wants to be, she's like popular mean girl kind of vibe. And I, the color I went for with her was red. So this is her formal wear, nice low key kind of look. This is her athletic wear. We've got sleepwear. I figured she, you will see it with her because she's not a vampire yet. It's the next thing I have to do. This is her party wear. We've got swimwear. Again, we can skip over that because you'll probably never see it. This is her hot weather gear. She aged up with the hat and I was like, let's, let's roll with that look lady. So, you know, and this is her cold weather gear. So there you go. Those are our two newest teenagers. So I'm getting him to take photos of his older brother. I basically put him in black on black because, you know, well, I don't think we've done that look before. He was being emo right before he came to the wall because obviously he's still, his feelings are still hurt. His mum still bit him. Maybe he's going to go on a quest to like not be a vampire anymore. Maybe that's what that's telling me. I'm obviously just hard to please today. I'll take a few photos just because this guy's never used a camera in his life, just in case. All right, so what I can do, I'm just gonna wait for Georgia to get upstairs and bite her stinky child. And then we'll move Sebastian out. We'll just turn her, make her even more miserable than she already is. She is really pretty. I love how she kind of came together. Once I like took the eyebrows off and fixed the skin details. See, look, hurt. Again, they don't like being bitten. <laughs> Who knew? Sentiments, I have to say, have made a huge difference to the game. Like, I, I don't think they go all the way to fixing the kind of blandness of The Sims overall. But it really does kind of give you a little bit of an extra, yeah, you smell, go have a shower. Um, it gives you a little bit of an extra kind of uh, dynamic to relationships and stuff, which I really like. The lifestyles aren't quite as cool as I thought they'd be, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, the sentiments have come together quite nicely. All right, emo guy. No, don't, don't, don't go talk to him. He'll just get emo again. Don't, just let him go. Let him go quietly into the night. Okay, we're back in the house. We have room for a pregnancy and obviously one baby, but I expect hopefully at least one of these kids will be out by the time she actually goes into labor. Now I've got her inviting two men over because I haven't got romance with either of them and I'm wondering if one of them's like a vamp or something. I figured I'll check them both out and then send one of them away. Oh, it's not coming over. Um, I mean, he's an adequate looking fellow. If the other fellows aren't going to show up, I'm just saying I'm not fussy. No, Nelly, you are not allowed in. If you're new to this series, this is my previous matriarch and she's got a sweet face. She's a ditz. <laughs> she is a real ditz. The reason I say that she has the childish trait, which is fine. She has the glutton trait, which I naively thought wouldn't affect her as a vampire. It does. It affects her a lot. So what would happen is she'd go to the fridge, take a mouthful of food, and then because I'd given her withered stomach, she'd then vomit. And it was horrible. Horrible. She was constantly, her default action was to go to the fridge and eat. It was really annoying. So I was glad to see the end of her. And I frankly don't want her coming in, eating my food and then vomiting in all my toilets, right? Oh, we got first kiss already. Okay, he's not a vampire or a supernatural. So he is an eligible baby daddy. How many clicks? Let's see, this is click number two. So enchanting introduction, first kiss, third click maybe uh, the woohoo. Do you think we can get it done in three? I feel like we probably can. Hi. Want to be my baby daddy? 
Yeah? <laughs> She's laughing yeah. about it. Hello. Oh, he just got a sentiment. Uh, yeah. Hey, look. Three <laughs> clicks. There we go. So the twins should... Uh, these current set of twins. I say the twins like everyone in this family isn't part of a twin now. They're all twins now. The youngest set of twins age up tomorrow. So I might... Depends on when they're going to age up. Also, and how long it takes her to get pregnant. If it takes her a long time to get pregnant, then we'll end the part when she's done. If she gets pregnant quick, then I might sort of quickly play through until these two are ready to age up, just so you can see the toddlers, and then they're ready to go. She had throw up as an interaction. That seems like a good sign, but I would like to confirm, just because I want to break up with this man. I should write his name down too. What is his name? Via Nair. I mean, he's dressed like a townie. So, you know, there's that. But, you know, with a, a little makeover, he could be quite a handsome fellow. I'm just saying. I'm not going to, because I don't care. But he could be. Oh, my God. Stop being annoying. All right, so she's pregnant. Let's just quickly break up with this guy. Ask to just be friends. And then we'll go change that nappy. Is anyone hungry? I'm mainly looking at you. Yes, your mum brought home takeout for you, so let's let's get some of that. All right, snack time. Whose is that? That is Venus's. So that should put him in a good mood, which is great. And he can have a shower, finish his project, and then I need to start him on a skill that is fun. What skill does he have at level two already? Gardening. I don't think gardening is fun. I do think painting is fun, though. So maybe he can... He's far too tense to paint. Well, that's annoying. Awesome. All right. I am going to fast play through until I get the notification that I can age up the babies because that's basically what we're here for now is to see what the toddlers look like. So I'm a little bit worried I'm going to jinx it, but I actually think that all four kids are going to come home with a grade increase. The two children, I think, are working on getting a B, so we won't be aging those up. But I have a feeling that my teens might get to A. I got Tristan his third level in painting because he had already got some painting skill from doing a project. So I just had him, once his tense moodlet went down enough, I just had him do a couple of paintings and that was plenty. She actually, because she was feeling so tense, I actually had her go down. She already was most of the way through level one on the yoga mat. And she'd done that herself. So I was like, well, if you're interested in yoga and she doesn't want to be like popular mean girls. So I'm kind of like, does yoga go, not necessarily mean, but does yoga go with popular? I feel like it might. So then I have a dilemma. Oh, my maid's been struck by lightning. Then I have a dilemma of, do I move them both out? She's being so needy. Nelly, I don't, I don't want you in my house. Like, I just don't. I'm sorry. I don't, can't deal with the vomit. Okay. Ulyana has a, B. Oh, she didn't quite make it. Well, that does make it a bit more straightforward. She, I would have been actually surprised if she'd made it all the way up because she got to school at about kind of 9.30 because she was really close to getting wellness level three. And I was like, being a little bit late is worth it to have the level three skill. Tristan is an A. B. 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 So we are only actually moving out this one. Oh, he's going through a mood swing. Time to wear black. So, ah, oh, the twins why why is this all happening at once okay let's get the cake out and then i guess i'll age them up and uh, too much too much okay you're fine dude why are you freaked the storm's finished also i've just decided i don't care come in here and blow out the candles did he get he did I would have been surprised. Usually they do, but yeah. A student in trait range. Wow. He wasn't in the house real long, was he? Like as a teen <laughs> one day. That's pretty good. I think it's just because he didn't get to school late. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise Uliana would have done it. If she'd been on time, she probably would have gone to A as well. However, he is an art lover and outgoing. Like I said, those kind of go with public enemy. He just got the good trait, like his twin. The game is basically decided that they need to be the same in every way. So that's nice. I will do his photo shoot and move him out, but I'm actually going to wait because I'll do this first. 
Which one's which? This is Jimena and this is Yolanda. So we want to age them up in order. So let's do that now. All right. Okay. Wild. Oh dear. And I can't see what color hair they have because of that hoodie. Can I just real quick? Red hair. I mean, not super surprising. What is wrong with you? And I can't tell if you are, oh, it's because of the storm. That's why. I can't tell if she's vamp or not because she's hungry. So that's inconvenient. All right, let's get Jimena downstairs and then we'll come back up and age up Yolanda. I'll give them a quick makeover and then we're going to call the part done. And then off screen, I will move Tristan out. All right, happy birthday, Yolanda. Lots of gifts. I really should check the mail at some point. Independent, you are my new favorite. Also, you still have red hair. That's fine. Let's have a see if we can have a quick look at her face. I mean, she looks very much like her sibling, if I'm honest. Two thousand years later. Okay, can confirm both girls are vamps, which does mean that who was our backup matriarch? Was it uh, Winona? So Winona's off the hook. That means Yolanda is our new backup matri matriarch. Anyway, I have started on this little one. I will just get them both made over and then I'll show you guys what they look like. All right, you guys, this is little Jimena. She, I kept them both with the same hair they aged up with because I was like, why not? So I decided pastel pink was a bit much with the hair. So I went for like a pastel aqua, not quite aqua. So this is her every day and that's this is where it came from is because this dress had the pink but also had this beautiful greeny kind of blue color i don't know maybe you would call that green this is her sleepwear we have her party wear like she's a little queen she looks so mad we have her swim wear then we've got hot weather and cold weather and then we go across to Yolanda, who is a little cutie patootie. And I don't know, maybe I should do something with her hair. Do I have any medium kind of hair length straight hairs in the CC range? The piggy tails are very cute. Maybe I could go with piggy tails. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know what you think. So she's got a purple theme. Again, I'm not convinced it goes great with the hair. This is a hard hair to dress too. Like once you get past navies and like emerald greens, there's not a lot that kind of goes with it. So I don't know. Maybe I should just be a bit more chill. But yeah, she really likes purples. So I've given her different shades of purple. Then we've got her sleepwear. Let's be real. The sleepwear is the outfit you see these kids in almost all the time, unless they wander outside and then it's whatever seasonal wear they have. And that's it. Like you never see them in anything else. This is her party wear. I think this is probably my favorite. We have swimwear. And then this is her hot weather and cold weather. So I think they are both gorgeous. Now I'm going to end this part here because I know if I click the tick button, I'm going to be going back into the chaos and I'd like to say goodbye on a calm note. So if you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. You know the drill. Don't forget to wash your hands and leave those Z and A names and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.